so excited to be signing my book. It's only been out for two days. Okay, the best news of the day is a Heather's pick. And I am so excited about that. And Heather, thank you. Thank you. So here's the other thing about the book and about the whole this whole concept that is really important, which is that Number one, we have to sort of shift our mind about what we think dinner is, okay? It doesn't have to be three courses and, you know, the apple pie in the oven, and, you know, that doesn't have to be dinner. Dinner can be breakfast for dinner. Dinner can be, you know, PB&J sandwiches. It's, it's really... It's the sitting down. It's the sitting down. It's also the conversation. Mm -hmm. I mean, the conversation is just as important as the food, too. Right. So it's the whole combination. Any way you can make this work for yourself, do. And in the book... We have tons of suggestions on how to do it. That the kitchen is the greenest room in your house to teach these values to your kids and to practice them, right? So, you know, everything that um, that I've worked on before environmentally is, you know, it's really coming down to food to a great yeah. extent. Yeah. You know, what we eat, how we eat, what we're wasting, um, you know, what we're using to wrap food in, plastic, and, and um, you know, whether or not you compost, whether or not you're growing some food your own. The fact that we're so disconnected to where food comes from, again, in our, you know, grandparents' day, everybody grew something. Right. And, um, you know, we're not even growing herbs. I mean, if you have a little windowsill, you could be growing herbs and say we're buying the organic herbs at the store that's wrapped, you know, within an inch of its life in plastic. Right. And we're, you know, we always have to buy more than we actually use. And if you grow it yourself, you can really, you know, there's a power to that. Do you plant? I mean, do you, do you grow some things? I grow a ton of stuff. I grow uh, a ton. You have a garden? I'm a huge gardener. I have an organic vegetable garden. And uh, it is one of the greatest joys you can do, is to grow some of your own food. It's fantastic. And it's so easy. The recipes in this book are phenomenal. The food is phenomenal. And it's family food. It's yeah. um, It's been tested over and over and over again by a lot of cranky people in my household, you know. Mm -hmm. Included in here are words of wisdom from no less than Jamie Oliver, Mario mm -hmm. Batali, Alice Waters, Mark Bidman, Soledad O'Brien. Yeah. I mean, just incredible. Nora, Nora, Nora Ephron, Maya Angel. How did you get all those people to comment on this cookbook? And you know what? My, the idea for the book was to fill it with words of wisdom for people. I mean, my hope is that you can turn to any page of this book and get inspired. And I think that the book is going to become an ongoing experience. So you'll open it for a recipe, and then you'll see a sidebar, and then you, you know, and then hopefully you're going to use all the conversation starters and the game to the table. So I just filled it with people that I admired, or people that had provided wisdom to me and you know, helping raise my kids over the years, people I had leaned on and turned to. Um, I've made the book a Heather's pick. Which Yay! is, I mean, yeah, I've made the book a Heather's Yay! pick, which I don't often do for cookbooks. First of all, because most people either know or would intuit that, what the heck do I know about cooking? I sort of try and spend my time doing this. But because the philosophy is so inspiring in this book, of being at the table, of having those discussions. So um, as I was reading it, and I, I literally, I, I said this to you, I was inspired by so much. There, there, this book in itself provokes thinking and a conversation in a different way than any cookbook I've ever reviewed or taken a look at.